YouTube. It's above average Cody coming at you with a video about how to be cracked in the Halo Infinite ranked arena. Now, I've been playing really well in ranked as of recent, and I feel like I can attribute that to kind of how I've been flowing through the map and how confidently I've been playing with how I've been flowing through the map. Now, this is going to be a little bit of a kind of tips video, but also a little bit of a VOD review to kind of go through what I've been doing correctly as of recent to lead to some success in my latest ranked games. And playing in the background there, we had this opening sequence here on Aquarius, which is a moment that I've been showing little glimmers of in the ranked arena where I feel like I am cracked what do i mean by that because that's a very like relative term that a lot of people use in the gaming landscape i mean just moving quickly checking angles going to where i need to be making the right decisions and kind of doing all of that in one perfect jumble which leads to some really well orchestrated halo infinite ranked gameplay now we're going to go through this opening sequence here um i go down here and grab thrust and you can see i am ready reticle up pointed exactly where I expect the enemy to be there on thrust. There's actually nobody there. Okay, move to the next spot. Jump up. I throw the quick little grenade there. There's nobody car three. If, I, if there's nobody car three, guys, normally, old me, I would literally jump up, you know, stand here, maybe really slowly move my reticle, look to the top mid, look back to their base, you know, huh, where's the enemy? Very slow way to play the game. So how do you be cracked on Halo Infinite? If there is nobody in front of you, you have to either A, get info from your teammates, or B, find the enemy yourself. And I choose to check the most obvious place that players like to go, and that is uh, the car 2, car 1 angle. So I quickly shift over that way. I met with the one. I see him. I know he might hide. I can see he's fighting somebody over in my own util. So he goes behind there. So in case he hides, I'm going to put a grenade that will hopefully land somewhere and probably damage him or possibly even kill him he pokes out i quickly react and snap over to him for a very very easy kill i'm even ready to melee him in case he actually just doesn't take that bullet into the head here so let's go through the sequence here very quickly snap snap over to him he doesn't know where to go very easy kill and i think this is what you can consider as being cracked at halo infinite it's not always hitting those flashy sniper shots or those crazy like hail mary grenades and stuff like that knowing exactly where the enemies are it is very simply snapping and looking in the right direction at the right time so that not only are you finding the enemies before they find you but you're there to help your teammates which is kind of the perfect example of that and the sequence does continue after that kill now, I have three thrusts in my pocket still. I'm very aware of that. And now I drop down. I'm pretty sure I had a call out. And also I heard these people fighting down below because they chose to go low on the car side here. So I come out, jump right out, reticle right on the enemy. I'm feeling very confident with my aim right now and just keep going. Fly out. Okay, I'm turning. I'm off to the races. Um, I know one got past me. I'm twirling around. I'm trying to find him. I'm putting in some very good shots so that the homie Goose here on his alt can pick up the very easy kill. And let's just watch that whole sequence back. Get the kill. Keep moving. Get the kill. Turn around. Keep moving. I know one got through. Spin around. Do the 180. Put in a lot of damage. Gets the kill. I quickly turn around and move to the next area. Now, this is obviously Slayer on Aquarius. If it was CTF, I'd probably keep moving up here into Util. But instead, we have three enemies dead. I know because I just had a very big part in killing all of them. So I'm going to jump up and get into a position where I am ready to locate the spawners, right? Just to go back here, make sure everybody's following along. Keep your eyes open, everybody. Jumping up, car three. Nobody. Snap. Get this enemy. Kill him. Move to the next. Get this guy. Kill him. Move to the next. Locate this other guy here. Get all the rocket kills. And then you wait for the others to spawn up and you push the spawn here, guys. The biggest thing I want to put here before we move into the next section of this sequence to be cracked at Halo Infinite. When you get a kill, whether you have full health, half health, maybe if you're one shot, I wouldn't do this. But you have to move on to the next enemy. Keep that reticle moving and locate the next place here. A lot of people, including me, I do this a lot. 
is I'll get the kill and I'll go I'll go full like baby mode and hide in a corner and it's like oh I gotta regen I can't I can't chow until until I'm full health because that's how I'm gonna die. That leads to a lot of downtime. You're getting no info for your team and you are doing zero damage. This is why I am very guilty of having a low damage stat almost every game. I'm doing these moments where I'm kind of sitting there looking in a corner, hiding. Like you got to be aggressive. You have to push. You have to help your teammates and let your teammates help you. So this is a perfect example of that. Again, kill on to the next one. Another kill on to the next one. Just helping the teammates mop up the kills as quickly as possible. Put in damage here so that Goose doesn't have to take too much damage and gets the kill. On to the next sequence. Get to an area. I see the homie over there on yellow base. So it's safe to assume, now that I just saw Goose back there on yellow util, I know that the spawners are either going to be P1 or they are going to be yellow fridge. So what am I going to do? Push the pressure, eat up the map, and I'm actually gifted seeing an enemy slide into fridge area there. Right here. So I know they're in fridge, right? I don't grab that cutie because I grab I already have three thrusts in my pocket, which I plan to use. So instead, I believe I tell whoever's behind me to pick it up because obviously power up there, you don't want to just leave it sitting there. It is very useful, especially on Aquarius. And here, I'm going to push out confidently, a little bit too confidently because I thought I had more help than I did. Um, but you can see here, I get jiggy with it. I get the kill. I thrust back. I'm trying to buy time for my teammates. They put in a lot of damage, and if I get that melee there, this is probably the most godly clip I could have ever showed you on my, uh, like, trip to improving in Halo Infinite Ranked. But I actually get done up there, but Goose is actually there to pick up the kill off spawn. So again, just moving quickly, confidently, good aim, back him down. I choose to push him, keep the reticle up, easy kill, thrust back, try to dance with him a little bit. Put in some damage even though I'm weak and unfortunately go down there. But still, a very good sequence. And I'm just watching these clips back for you guys so that I can try to do this more often. Although I've gotten a lot better with it, I'm still very inconsistent. I have those games where I'm slow, I'm indecisive. Um, and that leads to being very not confident. You know, if you're sitting there, you're not really moving the controller, you know, the ogre twitch, keeping your finger warm on the aim stick. It, if you're just sitting there hiding, you know, regening and kind of like being a little baby and trying to regen like I normally am, it leads to a very cold aim. You jump out, you finally take a fight, and you get absolutely obliterated. It really happens to all of us. Um, I get done up here in Util. Um, a little bit of an unfortunate gunfight not going my way, missing a couple bursts there. But this next life here is another good example of just keeping the reticle up, moving around the map, and just snapping to the next target very quickly. See, there's one in Util. I don't see one there, but I'm going to put a grenade there just in case. Maybe I can get a stray kill or some damage. And now jump out again. Reticle up. I'm ready to shoot thrust. He gets hit with bullets so quickly, guys. He cannot even hit me back here, right? Because I'm just ready. And again, if I jump out, there's no enemy on thrust. That's fine. Move my reticle. Look somewhere else. You have to be very, very cracked like this to do well in the higher lobbies. This is not the highest lobby. I believe this was like a Diamond 5, Diamond 6 lobby. Um, say what you will. It's lower skill players. This won't work in a higher lobby. Doesn't matter what the skill level is in the lobby. I'm just trying to teach you guys what is giving me success in the ranked arena. So hopefully you guys can incorporate it into your gameplay. So again... I hit this guy before he's even able to process that I am in front of him. Hit him so much he's forced to back down. I see this guy come up P2 into my vision. So I'm going to jump to the side such that I close this angle off. And I can take a 1v1 with this guy. And it also puts me towards the cover here into fridge. So that if I have to, I'm able to back out. While also keeping in mind I have three thrusts in my pocket. And you're going to watch all this come together here. Get one quick little burst in. I know I don't have the advantage, so I'm going to thrust back. And once I see the teammate putting in bullets, I'm going to go out and try to reach out this guy. There's one P1. I quickly shoot him, put in some damage, move out. And I was actually going to hold this corner until I regen. I get hit with a really good grenade from the enemy here. And now I try to hold my position. I push out. I thrust back. And an enemy actually comes up behind me. Now... Not the best looking sequence by any means. No, my gameplay is not perfect. But just, again, showing the, the example of playing cracked, moving fluidly with the map towards cover while shooting all at the same time. Like I said at the beginning, one perfect jumble of doing everything proper at the same time. Halo's a game of chess. You have to do all of this at once. Think about where the enemies could be. Shoot them quickly. Snap to the next one. Use your cover. Be unpredictable. Push out. This dude's getting team shot a lot of team shots going on here 
Um, and then I make the cheeky decision to push out Fridge. Probably not the best play here. But again, reticle up. I'm ready. I'm using the equipment. And just very, very cracked, if you will. Again, a very relative term. You guys can let me know whatever that means to you down in the comments section. Whether you think this is cracked or not, that's fine. Just trying to show you guys the the kind of thought process I'm trying to go through in all of my games in Ranked that are helping me play faster, put in more damage, and more importantly, just make the enemy's life just a living hell, really, on the map. I'm shooting them first, I'm shooting them quickly, I'm shooting accurately, and I'm really just ready at every moment to shoot enemies. And to me, that's what it is about being cracked in Halo Infinite. Am I doing this all the time? Can I tell you next live stream you're going to see me play like an absolute demon and go insane like this every moment? No, that's not going to happen. I'm very inconsistent. Um, this is a very hard game to be good at every single game, but I've been winning a lot of games recently. The solo queue has been amazing incorporating this kind of type of gameplay, and it's just been working really well in all the lobbies, and hopefully you guys took something away from this that maybe you can put into your own gameplay. Just remember, try to think about being ready, and the biggest tip you can take away is the first one I gave you. If there is not an enemy in your vision, which I showed you right at the beginning here, look somewhere else. I promise you just incorporating this one little aspect into your game will lead to a lot more damage, a lot more kills, and you are going to be a lot more helpful to your teammates. Because like I said, old me would have sat here and watched that angle, waited for somebody to pop out, and it leads to me being the one on the back foot getting jumped out on and getting absolutely slammed and ending up in, I don't know, YouTube clips or something. Um, so yeah, guys, that's the video. Again, I don't know if this was a VOD review. I don't know if this was a tips video. But regardless, I hope you got something valuable out of it. So get out there. Go work on playing Cracked in the Halo Infinite Ranked Arena. And I'm going to work on being more consistent. So hopefully my gameplay can look like this all the time. Guys, subscribe to the channel. Halo content galore. We've been playing some Starfield, some COD. We've really just been flowing with the content, having a ton of fun here. So hit that sub button, guys. Leave a like on the video. Leave a comment. What does being cracked in Halo Infinite mean to you? And did this video help you out? Please let me know down below. And then finally, guys, channel membership. Super thanks if you like to support monetarily. It helps you out a lot as a content creator. But please, do not feel like you have to. But alrighty, guys. Thank you so much for all the support. Life's been crazy, so I've been kind of slacking with the full-length content, but um, still trying to stay on that grind, trying to bring you guys some valuable stuff you want to watch and just do my best to, um, to, to have fun. That's all there is to it, guys. Thank you so much. Stay happy, stay healthy, and stay tuned for the next video.